Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Nerf Ultimate Championship Overview. Excuse me for the crying asshole that's behind this wall. Then again, I'm the real monster here when I'm recording. Everyone's hearing me on the floor. Can someone give me an idea what Nerf exactly is? Or like, where is it even popular? Because I've never seen it in Europe, only in advertisements in the States. Maybe also it's for the rich kids, like, I don't know. It always seemed to me like a family-friendly version of playing war outside. And maybe that's gonna be exactly what this game will stand for. I mean, considering Quest normally draws a young audience, maybe from the marketing perspective it's actually smart to release it. We'll see. So Nerf Ultimate Championship should be essentially your standard multiplayer shooter arena game where you battle it out in a teams of four, dashing, sliding and wall jumping around to dominate and achieve victory. I kinda lost count how many shooters of this kind we've got so far and probably will still get. Reading the description, doing the research, watching the trailer, I've seen literally no innovation whatsoever, which is what normally nowadays I tend to pursue. Sometimes it's not that bad doing the same thing over and over again, but specifically with shooter genre I honestly have had it. Besides the nerf branding, there's nothing really unusual about it. The only thing I really will be looking out for is the gameplay fluidity and that's pretty much it. I don't think I'll have many notes on the art style because it looks pretty cool for the quest, the mechanics should be fun, different weaponry to choose from. I'll be very much surprised if that will become like a go-to shooter for VR standalone. Sometimes the magic of the project translates only when you're actually in the headset and fingers crossed for the developers, but I just expect it to be fine. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Tutorial, as always. <laughs> okay, standard stuff. Oh wait, <laughs> instinctively I just crouched. There's a button. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Did he jump automatically? It's just double jump, okay. Towards the wall and hold forward to perform a mantle. Okay, simple enough. At any angle on any flat surface and hold forward. I mean, that's very simplified, but if it works, it works. It's not stride, but yes. <laughs> but it's interesting we have double jump. Did we ever had it in VR game? Because that's very handy, but... <laughs> blaster by placing your hand on the blaster and... What? With your off hand, grab the primer. There's only one. <laughs> Reach above your shoulder and press grip button. Okay. Why do I need to reload every time? Yes, it's nerf, but... <laughs> oh. Okay, I like this one better. I feel like it is resemblant of real life actually. That's why we have kind of like a slow paced gameplay because in real life it's slow. <laughs> oh, there's no reloading with it. Okay, so that's the best one. <laughs> Auto priming. Okay, so there is a difference, but it's the same situation like with Larsen outs. People with manual reloading will have a disadvantage at the end of the day. I will do the most realistic one because that's just VR to me. I don't care if I'll be losing or whatever. So shield is HP essentially. <laughs> wow, so family friendly. <laughs> People don't die here, they just fall down. <laughs> There's no like a real recall. So it doesn't really matter how you shoot. Interesting. Enhanced audio or classic audio? Oh. So this is the real life. 
This is the same. Oh, okay. It's very slight, but there is. I mean, I go for classic. That's the point of this game, no? Recreate the nerf experience, but in VR is just the same thing. Should be at least. Welcome to our state-of-the-art training facilities. So here, maybe you can do it. I don't know how to play this. Here, here, so you can try. Why don't you just try? You're playing against people. Here we go. So here, this is this hand, Sully. This is this hand. Okay, that's what I thought. It is just gonna be a kid game that parents will give it to them. I mean, it makes sense because Nerf, I don't need to know what it is. It's for kids. So this is gonna be like a rec room. <laughs> Parkour zone. We can practice essentially. Can I go up, please? <laughs> So now it would make sense why things are simple. Because it's not meant to be for experienced players, even though they will benefit from it. It's just a matter of having fun, essentially. Season pass, uh, I think it's kind of the same like in Population 1. It seems free, okay. I don't see like money floating around. <laughs> Different kind of blasters, skins. Okay, well, let's just see how the gameplay looks like. I muted myself. <laughs> That's just better for overviews. Forest be me. Multi point oh, capture. <laughs> Give me something. Oh my god, I don't know with how that one works. I will see what's gonna be the difference, but... What do I mean, poor network connection? The maps seem huge. But it's only three players. I'm red, right? I can't tell. Oh, no, yes. <laughs> I guess I'm dead. Oh my god, this is so cold. <laughs> I don't like at all that there's just one shot and that's it. Let me take this. Hey, <laughs> that's mine. No. Is it mine? Oh, because of the avatars, like, it's hard to tell who's who. Peach! <laughs> Am I red? How to tell who's who? <laughs> what? I guess the ones that don't have an avatar name. That's not mine. Oh my god, this is... This is a struggle. You don't see me. Blue's shooting ahead on the scoreboard. Both teams are battling red on the team. Ah, learn how to reload. Wait, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, he was confused as well. I'm pretty sure to play like seriously. You just need to have automatic reloading, like it makes no sense with manual. This is my weapon. Oh, 
I wish I could slide, like, you know, crouch. Oh shit, lava? Damn. <laughs> I don't, um... What? <laughs> hey, he's camping. <laughs> Thank you. I could like play more, but I know the gist of it and it's just gonna be the same and it's gonna confirm my feelings. <laughs> all in all, I feel like it's cool. It's very basic, but in a good way because for people that just start virtual reality, I think this is a good way to do it. Play something that's very easy to understand, the controls, the mechanics. This is essentially gonna be Rec Room Paintball, but like as a separate game with the skins, stuff like that. It's fine. However, for people that are actually experienced in this field, it's kind of similar to what happened with Larsenauts. Every person will choose their reloading and it's gonna benefit them or not in the battlefield. That will very much decide whatever is going on. Like you saw, half of the combat is just figuring out the reloading like after every single shot. Which is nerf experience at the end of the day, I believe. But like competitiveness already is gone for me. The movement is pretty smooth, like wall jumping and climbing. Very easy, very fun. The maps are kinda huge for not many people on them actually. <laughs> they said specifically it's for 8 people on the battlefield on max, so it's kinda big, which is a good thing because you're not gonna die instantly, you have time to walk around and just think what to do. So just wrapping it up, it's cool, but not cool enough to crush all other shooters on quest.